Hello everyone, I'm Michelle here at vegan.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a lot of great vegan treats and products that I've tried over the past month. We get sent a lot of different things to review here at vegan.com and a lot of stuff crosses my desk and when I fall in love with products I like to share them with you. I post them on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or different social media pages if I love them but I thought it'd be really nice to show you an in-person response to what I think about each of these things. So here's what I've got today. I'm going to start with kind of my favorite product because there's nothing else out there like it. And these are gluten-free and vegan Whoopie Pies. I honestly wouldn't be super stoked about these if they were only vegan because there's so much on the market in that category. But the fact that these are gluten-free and vegan and they can be found in the freezer section of many grocery stores is really, really exciting. It's making gluten-free vegan eating a whole lot easier. They're made by Piping Gourmet and they come in all different flavors. So if you're a gluten-free vegan, be sure to check this out. Next up, everybody asks vegans about honey. You're a vegan, do you eat honey? Are you crazy? Why do you care about bees? Bees don't have feelings. So you can get into a long, crazy debate about it or you can spend hours and hours thinking about whether you want to eat honey or not want to eat honey. But I just don't see the point when there's great items out there like this bee-free honey. This is an amazing company. It's owned by a woman that's creating all these different flavors of honey that are made from apples. So you don't need to involve any animals or insects. There's no controversy and it, it's wonderful. You can find them on her website and I'll include a link below and she has all sorts of different flavors. Uh, this is chocolate honey. There's a spicy one and a mint one. So really fun to play with these in all sorts of different recipes. Next up, we're gonna talk about a new energy bar that came on the market, and this is the Animal Rescue Bar. I really, really love this because 50% of the proceeds are donated to help animals, and that's a pretty huge percentage. A lot of times you'll see like 1% for the planet or 5% donated to so-and-so organization. This company really is putting their heart uh, into their product by donating half of the proceeds to help animals. This is the peanut butter crunch flavor. This is the only one I tried, but it was really delicious. I liked it a lot. And it's vegan, non-GMO, and gluten-free. So really applicable to pretty much anyone for a quick snack. On the topic of energy bars, because you can really never have too many at your fingertips for those moments where you're just so hungry and have no other options, uh, this is the Nature Bar. Nature Bars are delicious. You can see the fruit and nuts and oats and different ingredients in there, so you know it's really natural. And the cool thing is a lot of energy bars like this are made with honey, but these bars have absolutely no honey. They are labeled vegan. They're also gluten-free, and they're just another great option to have, so check out Nature Bar. Next up, have you guys gotten into this fad yet? These are the roasted seaweed strips. So you can have these little paper-like flakes of seaweed to munch on. They're very low in calorie. They're unfortunately very high in packaging. It's a lot of packaging for not very much food, but it's a really great snack. You can send it with kids who go off to school. You can bring it to work. This particular one is made by Seaweed Love and it is made with coconut oil roasted to perfection, and a, a touch of sea salt. So, really great. Next up, we've got a new vegan cookbook. There are so many new vegan cookbooks entering the marketplace. There are several every single month. And this vegan taco specific cookbook is a testament to how incredibly niche the vegan cookbook market is getting. And it's just really exciting. I mean, pretty much any genre of food that you want, you can find a vegan cookbook for it. So this one's called Vegan Tacos, Authentic and Inspired Recipes from Mexico's Favorite Street Food, and it is by Jason Wyrick. It's a really beautifully put together book. You can tell there was a lot of heart and soul that went into this. The photos are high quality and just make you drool over the pages, and it will really inspire you to get moving in the kitchen. So if you are a taco lover, this book will help you step up your game vegan style. So I highly recommend you check it out. I'll include a link below. Last but certainly not least, I want to show you two vegan subscription boxes I just got. What vegan boxes are, are subscription boxes where you usually pay between 10 or 20, sometimes up to $30 a month to get a box delivered to your doorstep that's packed with vegan goodies. It could be vegan snacks, vegan makeup products, a combination of vegan household products. There's all sorts of these boxes on the market. 
Um, and today I'm going to show you two of them. This is Petite Vore. It is a vegan beauty subscription box. So it comes with, you know, full and sample size beauty, beauty products. And this one is called the Vegan Box. And it's just packed with monthly goodies that are food or household products or beauty items, just a mix of everything. And this one's actually from Australia. For all the Australians watching, I don't usually have very many products for you, but here's one of them. And these are great. You don't have to read labels. The companies have done it for you. And I just really love these services. So yeah, I encourage you to check them out. But that is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to hear from you guys. What is the best vegan product that you've discovered in the past month? Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear about it and check out all of your opinions. And I know everyone else loves reading those comments too. So as always, thanks so much for watching. You can find more bite-sized vegan videos over at vegan.com slash videos. And just vegan.com in general has tons of guides, tips, resources, recipes, and so much more geared towards making vegan easy. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.